Well, as I say, thank you very much for your invitation. It's a real pleasure to be able to be here and talk to you about an approach to teaching and learning, which is not brand new, but it's something that I have been thinking about, and it's been about 20 years in the making. First of all, exploring the science. That's my background. I'm a cognitive scientist, an experimental psychologist, and I'm interested in finding out more and more about the brain and the mind and about how people's minds can be helped to become more powerful and more effective. And that's my scientific background. But for the last 10 years or so, I've been working with an increasing number. Now, I couldn't tell you how many. Thousands of teachers, hundreds of schools, dozens of local authorities to find smart, practical ways in which those well-founded scientific ideas can be translated into doable and effective things in the classroom. Well, what is it that we're trying to discover? In a way, it's, I think of it as being a bit like the holy grail of education. Trying even more than we currently do to find ways of organising our schools, talking to our children, planning lessons, working with each other, to achieve a combination of these objectives. Yes, raising results according to the conventional standards, the key stage two SATs are important, and doing that in a way that increases young people's levels of engagement and enjoyment in their learning, not doing that in a way that makes school an anxious grind or drudgery or something that they dread or something that is a pressure, and doing that in a way that makes our jobs as teachers more pleasurable, more enjoyable, more even more than they currently are, the job that you really came into the profession to do. And, notice the ands are all in capital letters there, and to do that in a way that really helps all young people develop the confidence, the capacity, and the appetite to go out into the big wide world and face difficult, complicated things, the specific nature of which we cannot predict because the world is changing very fast, but face uncertainty and complexity with that confidence and with that capacity. As many people are saying these days, to be powerful, confident, <laughs> lifelong learners.